Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. Well, the month of June and meteorological summer starting off on a cool but soggy note, but that will change quickly as we dry out tomorrow. But then we also uh, heat up the thermostats and also uh, we'll see those uh, humidity levels start to increase as well. So right like clockwork, we're getting warm and humid. Not quite in hot territory. I think we'll be in the upper 80s, but not quite 90 degrees. But that means we recap the month of May and the spring season uh, now that both of those have come to an end. And it looks like, based on the numbers, we had kind of an early indication yesterday evening. But yes, the month of May for Evansville ranking as the 10th wettest on record for the city at 8.06 inches of rainfall. Of course, it was just a couple weeks back where we had that daily record over three to nearly three and a half inches of rain in Evansville. That added a lot to that as well. For the month of May, for temperature-wise, likewise, the 10th warmest on record with an average temperature of 70.8 degrees. And we weren't in record territory for precipitation for the spring months of March, April, and May. But we are on one of the warmest on record uh, for the city of Evansville, a third warmest with an average temperature for those three months of 61.3 degrees for Evansville. So one of the warmest and relatively soggy spring and month of May as well. And we're kicking off June where May left off, essentially all the widespread rain this morning and now some batches of some pockets at least of moderate to even some heavy rainfall there in southwestern Hamilton County, uh, just southwest of McLeansboro. But all this activity shifting to the east and maybe slightly to the northeast, but you'll notice those last couple of frames we're seeing a little bit more development back towards the west and southwest. So again, while the widespread activity is gone for the evening, we're still going to be have to face these off and on waves of scattered showers and maybe some thunder showers. We're not seeing any lightning detected, uh, but a lot of moderate rainfall basically right along north to south, uh, Highway 45 there across parts of Wayne and into uh, eastern or western rather uh, White County. Carmi getting it on some lighter rain, but McLeansboro uh, up to Wayne City getting some more moderate, steadier rain, similar to what we had at times earlier today. So again, if you have any outdoor plans, have a backup indoor plan, or at least uh, be able to, to temporarily pause those outdoor activities once the rain moves through your area. Uh, but no rain in the Henderson area. That's our Maldonado's tower camera. And on the other side of the bridges, our Heads Construction tower camera down on the US 41 strip where things uh, now are pretty quiet. So that's some good news. The trees still blowing there. We've had winds upwards of 15 to close to 20 miles per hour today. And you factor in the cooler conditions, temperatures in the 60s, it's uh, feeling much more like very early spring as opposed to the first day of meteorological summer. So I don't think we'll hear many complaints outside of the rain showers, of course, but cooler temperatures this time of the year will certainly take it, of course, given what's headed our way early next week. But the rain showers continue this evening into the early nighttime hours. We stay mostly cloudy. That could also help us, though, if we see some clearing that could increase the likelihood of some fog developing tonight. So it's one night that will actually uh, kind of cheer on uh, the possibility of more clouds tonight than clear skies. But you may have to watch out for some fog first thing tomorrow morning. We'll clear out by tomorrow afternoon. Feature tracker, I think, a little aggressive on the clouds. We should see a good deal of sunshine for tomorrow with highs in the upper 70s to low 80s and then mid to upper 80s by Monday, even adding the humidity. So it is going to feel much more June-like for the start of the work week, and that humidity will be with us through Tuesday and Wednesday. Could have to watch a few showers and storms Monday evening. Feature tracker, not impressed, keeping us dry. Same story for Tuesday. Still keeping rain chances between about 55 to 60 percent, but future tracker again not too impressed with the rain at least the early in the day but I think by Tuesday evening into early Wednesday that's our best bet for some scattered showers and storms and then that cold front will start to uh, cool us down and drop the humidity as well but tonight we'll see those temperatures into the mid 60s this evening and then uh, warming up for the middle of next week but by next weekend looks like a few showers by Saturday but low humidity finally off the board.